Greetings from Jivras Technologies. In this video, we are going to see how to create invoice on PayPal on submission of Google form. I have a simple order registration form here. So this collects basic information about the, the customer and then which model of the car that he wants to purchase and how many cars he wants to purchase. I have a pricing chart here. This gives pricing and description for each of the car model. So on submission of this form, I want to pick up the corresponding price from here multiply by the number of quantities that he is looking at and create an invoice on PayPal. So let us see how to do it. To do this, launch form director. Start setup. Pick up PayPal as an application. I give a name to the service. Choose create invoice as a service. Let's go ahead and connect with paper. Paper is now connected. Let me go ahead and make the mapping. Let me manually configure all this. So let's take invoice number. Invoice number I want to generate automatically. Uh, so let me choose this and let me use the auto increment to fix it with INV card, something like that. So you can say four digit fine. So let me use the currency as USD. Then let me configure configure the item. So item I'll map it to the field of which model the user wants to buy. Then item description. So this is something that I want to pick it up from this this particular Google Sheet. So let's see how do we do it. For that, let's use lookup and I'll choose this. I'll use the pricing. So on pricing, I have a tab called models and then it has all this information. So I'll choose models as the tab here. I'll use the full range and this includes the header also. So I'll say which model of the flying car you need that matches with the lookup field, the fly, flying car model. The result should be coming from the description because I want description. That's all this mapping. So let me check the price. The item amount again I'll map it to lookup choose pricing and choose models as the tab make it as full and includes header that's going to pick up uh, the price so let me take this model selected matches with this model in the spreadsheet and then the resultant column will be the amount so this will bring out the amount. We can even check this if you want to see this. So let's see if I want to put this. So this is fly quick. This is six dollar. So if you look at that, put this and then check now. It's going to give the six dollar value. Okay, let me see what other information that I need to configure. I'll map the CPN billing name to the name here. 
and the map recipients billing email to email here. So I have done with basic mapping required for creating the, uh, the invoice. Now I need one more field to be mapped. Let me see what is that. That is the item quantity. So that needs to be mapped with the quantity field here. Okay, now I have done the basic mapping that is required for creating an invoice on PayPal. Let's go ahead and save this. I want an email to be sent out to me when there is an order registration happens. So let me enable this and then set up an email template. I want to say new order from uh, this person on car. That's okay. So let me change this a little bit. Again, I'll use some dynamic fields here. The other information I will leave it. Okay, let me save this. So I'll go ahead and save the service. Now the service is ready. Let's go ahead and see that how it works. Let me open this form. And let me fill some information. So the customer has now given the basic information about the billing. And he has chosen a car model and given the quantity. So the expectation is it should create an invoice in PayPal based on the model that has been selected multiplied by the quantity. So he has selected the model of Flyquick and which is costing six dollars. So the invoice should be generated for five quantity should be thirty dollars. So let's see how it goes. Okay, I have got a new email which says that I've got new order from Bomo Sky Technologies for a particular car model uh, and five quantity is what they are looking for. So this is the email that I have got. Let me go to PayPal and check what is the invoice. This is the invoice that has been generated on PayPal. So it is for $30, basically this car model and five quantity and six each. And it brings up the description also from the uh, Google Sheet. So your invoice is ready. Now it can be sent to the customer and then the customer can pay for it. You can also choose an option of sending this invoice automatically without having to manually send it. So if you tick this on it will create the invoice and automatically send it also so it is that simple to create an invoice on paypal on submission of a google form thank you for watching